escalation of Gaza imposed by Israel in the West came to an explosive end as Palestinian militants literally broke through a wall and the wall, as the wall tumbled down, a torrent of humanity poured out into Egypt, not to escape, but to buy goods ordinary Palestinians have lacked for years. Correspondent Rena Nainan reports. It all began like this. 17 explosions launched by Palestinian militants broke down the wall separating Gaza from Egypt. A wall built by the Israelis before they pulled out of Gaza more than two years ago. We were under Israeli siege with no water, no electricity, no medicine and food, and I wish the border will stay open for good. Tens of thousands of Gazans streamed into Egypt and purchased everything. Food, fuel, mattresses, cement, medicine and even sheep. Supplies that are not easy to come by in Gaza since Hamas took over two years ago and the international community decided to boycott the area. For the past week, Israel has blocked all crossings to Gaza, preventing shipments of fuel and food because of rocket attacks from Gaza on Israeli towns. Yesterday, when Palestinians tried to use force to get through the Gaza-Egyptian border, Egyptian police shot water cannons to break up clashes with them. Israel wants Egyptian President Hosni Mubarak to stop allowing Gazans to enter Egypt. We have to make sure, we need to know, that armed men, uh, missiles, uh, explosives, weaponry are not coming into Gaza even more than before. The Israeli government has decided to only let in a limited amount of aid and fuel for the power station. Most of the aid is distributed by the United Nations. The people of Gaza need the help to have a decent existence. And we ask ourselves these days, so what can we do? Get the fuel into the power plant. That, that will not help the militants. It will help the mothers. The militants work very well in the dark, but mothers cannot. This evening, Israeli Prime Minister Ehud Olmert said he will not allow a humanitarian crisis in Gaza, but he adds that rockets have to stop being launched by Palestinian militants, something the Israelis have still been unable to accomplish, despite their efforts in isolating the Gaza Strip. In Jerusalem, Rina Nainan, Fox News.